Welcome to part 2 of my Fiona analysis. If you haven't watched the first part yet, do watch that first. I'll put the link in the description. Anyway, let's continue our analysis, starting with team comps and rotations. So, this is going to be a long section. And while I normally like to have comparisons in a separate section, as I introduce each team, I will go over some alternate simulacra in each comp and compare the value of each in a little table. Special thanks to FKW for providing the footage for all of these rotations. An altered team consists of Mon, Fiona, and Lin. It uses Torrential Force and Vortex, and aims to spam Fiona's Discharge as much as possible to reset Torrential Force to give A6 Lin more Moonlight Realm charges, while having Mon pump out a large amount of passive damage and buffing attack further through her discharge. Some alternatives for Lon include Icarus, Claudia, or even Zubasa, though the resulting damage won't be as high. This comp does go into balance resonance, meaning compared to DPS resonance, you lose 5% damage in solo play or 20% in team play. The rotation for an altered team is short and simple. Start out with Torrential Force, and put out all your Moonlight Realms. Then, use Long Skill. Switch to Fiona, discharging if applicable, then use her skill, and auto until low charge. Discharge into Long, use her skill again, then drop all your Moonlight Realms on Lin before discharging back to Fiona. Low charge on Fiona again, and repeat the loop. An ideal flame team would have Lon, Annabella, and Fiona using Hydro Focus and Wellspring for the generic buffs. This comp also suffers for being in balanced resonance. It plays very similarly to the Annabella quote unquote main DPS rotation, even though it uses Fiona's trait. The purpose of this is that Annabella charges a lot better and you want to have enough charge to discharge to both Fiona and Lon. Start out by using your Fiona skills, and then unload your bullets on Annabella until you have almost two full charge bars. Discharge to Lon, use her skill, and do one auto attack rotation. Then discharge to Fiona, use skills if applicable, then swap back to Annabella and repeat. It's a short rotation that functions on a simple concept. Frost is next. We'll look into a team with Icarus, Alice, and Fiona, using Hydro Focus and Torrential Force as skills. Fiona was kind of tuned to hyper buff his specific team, so any alternatives, especially those without Icarus, are fairly weak. Start out with just your Fiona base skill, holding Torrential Force. You only want to use Torrential Force while on Icarus to get his bonus skill casts. Use Alice's skill, and then switch into Icarus, cancelling his discharge if necessary. Use his skill if it's up followed by his bonus skill, auto-attacking during the cooldown. After the second cast, use Torrential Force, granting you two more casts. Discharge into Fiona, and then use her base skill. From here on out, the rotation repeats. It's a fast rotation that depends on both discharging to Icarus and Fiona to maintain momentum, and can vary depending on your weapon charge. If you need to buy time for more charge generation, you can let Icarus's discharge go off instead of cancelling it. Next, let's look into a vote team consisting of Fenrir, Hyunman, and Fiona, using Hydro Focus and Wellspring. Wellspring works quite well with Tianman, 
as this health boost from A1 allows you to get the second buff from Wellspring. There aren't really good alternatives for him, as Nemesis would activate Benediction Resonance. The best alternative would probably be Claudia as a buff slave. Open with both Fiona's skills, followed by Tian's skill cancelling it after the initial cast goes off by switching to Fenrir. Summon your clone, do A1 to dodge to A1, and then start doing the jump to plunge to roar combo until about 5 seconds are left on the A1 cooldown. At which point, you discharge into Fiona, use her skill, and do another A1 to dodge to A1 on Fenrir. Right before the Swan Road expires, switch to Tianwan and use a skill, and then repeat the rotation from Fenrir's clone cast. Finally, let's look at physical. The ideal comp would be Umi, Claudia, and Fiona. While you can replace Claudia for Lyra for smoother rotations, this triggers Benediction Resonance and lowers your DPS by even more. So there aren't really options here, but it's okay, Janano is around the corner. Start with Fiona's base skill, then use Claudia's skill. Switch into Umi and begin a magic shell, popping Maelstrom as soon as possible. Auto attack for the duration of the entire magic shell. Discharge into Claudia, use her skill again, then Fiona's skill, and then switch back into Umi ASAP to proc A1. And auto attack until you're almost at 70% preheat meter. At which point, you discharge into Fiona, use her skill, use Claudia's skill and go back into Umi for another Magic Shell and Maelstrom cast, repeating the rotation from here. And that's about it for team comps. Let's move forward and take a look at how these comps compare to each other, and the rest of the meta at various investment points. Disclaimer! Remember to take theory crafting with a grain of salt. Not everything is guaranteed to be 100% perfect. I had to do math for like a bajillion comps this time around, so there's also a chance I could miss something as well. However, these mostly line up pretty well with testing data and give us a good idea of where things stand. Okay, now it's time to look at the theoreticals of all the teams. Are you ready to see the damage? Okay, here we go. Fiona raises the damage of all comps by quite a bit, but some more than others. Note that balanced comps in this comparison have a 5% penalty applied to them already, though this penalty will raise to 20% in team content. Compared to other comps, Altered is on the weak side but it's still surprisingly strong for how versatile it is. Do note that in Sequential, though, Altered will suffer a further 25% damage penalty. Flame, Frost, and Bolt come fairly close to each other, with Frost bragging the highest raw damage, with Flame and Bolt close behind, making up for their damage difference with their resistance shred. We then have Physical, which exists, for sure. We'll wait for Janela to fix that one. In Dolphin teams, with 6-star units, and then a 3-star Standard Matrix set, plus 2 Roadboss sets at 0-star, the numbers look fairly similar, though comparatively, Fenrir comps are much stronger, and the Vensaki Rainbow comp roughly matches the damage of most of the other Fiona comps. Aside from the vote comps, they're mostly balanced pretty well. Uh, when we present physical doesn't exist anyway. 
Finally, we get to FTP teams using one star units and a zero star standard matrix set with two zero star world boss sets. This one is a bit all over the place, but some of the Fiona accounts overtake the Fensaki team as the best FTP team, notably Flame, which needs minimal investment on Annabella and Juan to have decent power. The Frost team also performs exceptionally with Alice and Icarus A1, and the Fiona Vault team is slightly higher than the Fensaki team. Physical exists, as usual, but it's okay, Janana will solve things. Fiona has brought power to every team comp, and is essentially the Annabella if Lynn is the cohort B. That is, she raises the ceiling by a good amount, but raises the floor by much more, granting a lot of power even at low investment. She introduces a new team comp, the Alter comp, though this requires investment in Claudia matrices to be remotely competitive with other teams and may not be worth pursuing for the average player. This was a difficult analysis. Did you make it all the way to the end? Thank you for sticking around for so long. These videos take me countless hours to put together, and I do my best despite how scuffed TOF and the content creator program can be at times. If you want to support what I'm doing, channel memberships are an option. You get to use my cute emotes, and you get a cute badge to boot. This was actually enabled like a few months ago, but I was too shy to self look So there, official announcement. I'll see you guys next time then.